What's good, superstars? Back with another VV video. You got superstar Joe. You got superstar Robin Dunn. How's it going, Rob? Pretty good, you? Oh, man. Man, taking care of bullies. Taking care of bullies today. Guys, if you're new here, do not forget. Become a superstar. Smash the subscribe button down below. Hit the bell notification so you know whenever we post about some community ongoings in the community, some things that we think uh, could be treated uh, a little bit differently. So let's let's get into it. But first of all, if you haven't already, become a superstar VIP. Two nine nine a month. Hit the join button. Get one of these stars next to your name. June is going to be super duper rare month. We're going to see our first super duper rare star in the universe in the in the chat. Uh, it's going to be a wild time. And Rob, we're going to have to figure out what we're doing for those people. They've been supporting us for two years straight. Very thankful for all you guys. Um, follow us on X, follow us on Instagram. Slide in the DMs. Have a conversation with us. Always open to talk to you guys, to our <laughs> face, anytime, whatever you want to do. We can always talk. Uh, you can join the Discord as well. That's another place you can communicate with us or any of the other superstars. Pretty safe space over there. I mean, if, if you act up over there, we're going to let you know you're acting up. And we're going to make sure we take care of that in, the, in our own way. But uh, a lot of fun, and uh, and it's a great time in our own Discord. So if you guys want to go there, join that. We got a VB just Discord in there. We got all our favorite projects are in there, and uh, a lot of fun channels in there as well. So something a little bit different. If you're new to the space, want to be welcoming, want to make sure that you guys are integrated with the rest of the community, and everybody there is very very welcome. Superstar Discords must follow. We've seen so many people join it for one project, learn about others, become integrated into Superstar Nation, get some new friends, and then they start exploring the space. This is exactly how we how we want the space to grow, right? If you if you came in from Disney Pinnacle, for example, like John John, and you're learning about other projects and you veer over, or Gleb Penguin, for example, right? These are guys that came in through, through Disney Pinnacle and they've uh, branched over to other digital collectible companies. This is why we love the Discord. Make sure you guys join. And also all our giveaways go through there as well. So make sure you guys join it. You will not forget it. Now, Joe, I am going to get right into it day, yep. today. Okay. Let's just get this, into is, it. this has been something that we have made a video about recently. Okay. Now, this all started, we're going to take a step back. This is specifically targeted now to one community member who has made waves, not just with this one person, Biscuits, but has made waves with many people in the community that are now very upset with their behavior. So this all started when Biscuits said, well, Vivi unfollowed me. I remained respectful but persistent when trying to get some answers, any type of communication. And she talked about her displeasure in a, dis in a respectful way on how she was unfollowed. And Vivi actually responded and said that they refocused their socials, but please feel free to provide any feedback suggestions. And please know that we will always welcome your participation in the community. Now, Notorious always come in all around with his opinions, comes in good. She is toxic, sold her collection months ago and left the app. Who gives uh, AF what she thinks? So this was a completely normal conversation and Notorious decided not to mind his own business and stay out of it, but then came in and gave what he thought was actually, I mean, he is spreading toxicity, right? Like this was a toxic comment. This was the start. Yeah, I, think, of I think we're going to have to also have a little bit of a disclaimer here because there's going to be a couple of tweets and things that you guys see here. So if you don't want younger ones who maybe watch our videos to see some of the words on the screen, uh, probably best they skip this one uh, yeah. because we're trying to make a point here and we want to make sure that uh, that we do that properly so that people can understand maybe the importance and the the magnitude of this conversation. Right. So Gravy comes in and says, I thought VV official was a safe and respectful place. Where's the zero tolerance? Notorious comes in and says, oh, I'm going after your Instagram. And let's see how many times I can report you. Why would he do that? report her for what reason what did she do to get reported we know gravy uses instagram as a really important tool for her i guess in her business so yeah. essentially he's saying i'm going to report you to try to take you out so i can hurt you financially at this point for what for what why why, why? <laughs> what's the point what did she ever what did she do to you what did she do to you you want to know what she did she said things about vivi and notorious has decided that he will now get involved. He is someone in his mind that is representing the VV community and he feels the need to get involved. Now, VV, if you're watching this, whether you like it or not, that's what's going on. This person's in here in the name of you. For you, he came in here and said he's going to report her and get off her Instagram. And then it just gets really bad. Zap Zaddy came in and said, get a life. And then he responded in his way. Um, and time, Zap told him to chill. And then this is when it became a little bit out of control. 
a little bit out of control. This has to be one of the most like definition of toxicity that I've ever seen. In a response to Gravy, he told her, now go play with your hairless blank on Instagram and manipulate your OITs for views, you blank loser. You can read it on the screen. I'm not going to say it. This is what we are dealing with, with this guy. He is coming in the name of Vivi after these people who honestly have never spoken like this. Like this is like another level of vulgarity. And he takes it so personal with this much vulgarity. He makes sure it's not a safe place for these girls to be in VV space. Because if VV, they're not taking a stand on this, right? They, they washed their hands and just said, oh, it's about our socials. But this is all about your socials. This person's doing this because of your socials. So you have to choose. Are you going to let them? Are you stand with them? Are you going to stand against them? Because these girls now, I mean, they know he's he's always around. And whether they block him or not, he knows Vivi didn't block me. So obviously my behavior wasn't unacceptable to them. So this is the beginning of all of this. This is really has been, this is not, this is not old. This is not new news. This is old news, but it's come up again. It's resurfaced. We had Javier from today, May 31st saying, if you're a decent person, you will not be following people like this. If you're a decent company, you will block them from your socials immediately. Absolutely unacceptable. I have no doubt the licensors would be appalled to see these behaviors associated with their IP. Agreed. Absolutely, the licensors would be appalled. I, I, I'm appalled. Everybody's appalled in seeing this kind of behavior on X regarding people who are engaging with the VV socials in the name of respectful discourse. And then they have to deal with this being called losers, getting their, 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 their private parts talked about. It's insane. And it's also insane that VV did not step in and make a serious stern comment on this situation because everyone in the community knows about this. This is, if you're active on X, you know about this situation, period. It's spread everywhere. Biscuits made sure it's spread everywhere. Okay. Mm -hmm. So and something something has to happen. Go ahead. I mean, we know, we know Biscuits has expressed their own happiness with certain things on the project and i can understand why maybe you don't think that it's top of priority to satisfy somebody who maybe isn't actively participating in the project but that doesn't mean that they don't want to participate in the project if you go back and you look at what biscuit's real concerns were it were things that she's trying to get back into the project she's hoping that those things change and reminding people of why she went in the project because she gets attacked i've seen posts that she does 50 60 responses and they're all like Sometimes it's 50% people are supporting her, but 50% of the people are attacking her because she's saying something that maybe isn't streamlined. And trust me, we've heard it before. There's times that we come up with constructive criticisms on this channel and we put out some nice thumbnails and some nice titles to try and get some attention because we can't talk directly to the team here. We couldn't get through to David Yu, can't get him on the channel. There's other, there's, there's, there's a big gate, a big wall there. So what way do you get attention? You make some nice thumbnails, some nice titles, talking about exactly what the content is about. But you hope that that's enough to draw the attention and get the view uh, from somebody on the team because then maybe they'll be able to in incorporate some of that ideas that you came up with and, uh, and and make some changes. And the best part is we've seen it happen. We've seen it happen on this channel. We put out a, a, our top video of all time is all your VV collectibles are going to zero. Top video all time on the channel. Everybody watched it. Why did you watch it? You wanted to know why your vault value was coming down. We said... A lot of things in that video that had to do with transfers. There was another video we did, similar topic, bots. Guess what's not here anymore? Transfers. Guess what's not here anymore? Bots. Vivi listens. Vivi watches the channel. I don't care if they want to admit it or not. I don't care if they want to admit that they agree with our statements or not. They watch the channel because of the spicy title, because of the, the spicy thumbnail. All right? That's why they're watching it. But we know there's a bunch of people who don't like our spicy titles and our spicy thumbnails. One of them is... Our good friend, Notorious, all right? Our good friend, Notorious, that we've been getting comments on every single video that we put out, always letting us know how much he dislikes our content, how much it's going to affect his bags or whatever he's talking about now. But I want to show another thing. This is from uh, May 30th, yesterday. Our good friend, Vivi Gaslight, puts out a tweet. Uh, really in line, actually, with one of our recent videos. So I know he probably watched our video and said, you know what, that'd make a great tweet for some engagement. So Vivi Gaslight puts out the tweet, says how he doesn't like that they're cooling the market, upset that people are leaving the leaving the community we just did a video 
VV content creators, <laughs> where are you? Where are they? This is a topic because of that video. It's you can hate it or not or not. It was a great conversation piece because we wanted to see some more. You know what? Essentially, crypto made a video. We've seen some DMs from some other old uh, old YouTubers. They're still here. They're still here. They're just not making content right now because it's not the time. Why? Because the communities like this in shambles. You got people going running around, acting like they represent VV, commenting on everything. We know that VV gaslights a, a pro VV fan. At least that's what he tells us. His last couple posts maybe aren't so much. But anyways, we got Notorious here responding. Sorry, pal. VV isn't going anywhere. No matter what the values are, VV isn't here to make you money. They are here to allow fans to collect the world's biggest IP. If VV fails, so does digital IP or IP digital collecting. You think the IP isn't watching? Pause there for a second. McFartland and Crap Toys isn't the answer. So again... Attacking other projects to bring down, uh, to, to bring up Vivi, right? So in your name, in Vivi's name, attacking other projects to bring up Vivi. It's funny because he says that we knock down other, to pump our own bags. So we knock down other projects to pump our own bags, apparently. But in the same breath, he's doing that right here in his last sentence. McFartland and Crap Toys isn't the answer. So I saw this tweet. I say, you know what? Let's hit the bookmark there. Let's hit the bookmark there, Okay. And uh, he, he ends up posting underneath one of our, our good friend Bones B's uh, comments on the Cryptoids post saying, I need some Leia in my life. Anyone with a weapon is a must. Now, that didn't even last 24 hours. I thought you called them Craptoids 15 hours ago. What changed? I was genuinely curious how you can go from extreme polar opposites. I wanted to know what the heck happened. And obviously, not the most well-received, Rob. Why don't you go through it? Well, then the response was, I thought you called them crap toys 15 hours ago. What changed? It, it, we see this contradiction now uh, with the discussions, with the discourse, right? So we, we're, we're, kind, we're going after another project in his case. He was going after another project, purposely using a bad name in their name, right? Obviously trying to go, trying to make them basically saying the toys are crap, right? That's what he's trying to say by this. But at the same time, he's saying he's going to buy them. So it's two ends of the spectrum there in terms of the mentality. It's like, what, where are they? Are they crap or not? And we asked and he said, are you still, are you offended? I'm still going to collect crap. So he's doubling down. He's doubling down. Instead of just saying, I said that because in that moment I was trying to defend Vivi in the name of Vivi. Now that I'm off the Vivi post, I came over to this post. I'm telling my true feelings. I actually want to buy this stuff. He says, so offended you would repost my comment? Are you hurt emotionally? I think you missed the irony in that tweet. Will there be a market tomorrow? The answer is yes, there'll be a market tomorrow. Not sure what he means about the irony in the tweet, but the irony here is that you call them crap and then you're still going to, you then at the same time you go buy them. This is the irony in all of this. You know, you are doing what you've accused us of being. You actually are the one putting down other projects repeatedly. And we just proved it. When we put out videos, we're not putting down the project. We always say how we think they can be better, right? If we put in a video criticizing no ambassador program for Vivi, we make sure we give examples of how we think they can do better, right? So when there was when we said bring back content creators, do an ambassador program, this is how it can work. This is why we do these videos. But this is actually just trying to tear down other projects. Calling them McFartland and Crap Toys is out of your way. And we know because of the back and forth is with going with Notorious over a number of months. We know he's always doing this when we post videos about other projects. He loves to come in. If we post videos about Vivi, he loves to come in and always tries to be exactly like this. A little bit, you know, argumentative in the sense that he's going to call things crap if he needs to. He's going to swear when he wants. And then, you know, we, we basically respond in saying, um, uh, like, we didn't really know what he meant by, by, being hurt emotionally or the irony and all of this. Uh, but the response is, I think you say whatever you feel fits your narrative at the time. That's the point, right? With the VV post, it's crap toys, cryptoys post. He's going to buy Leia. He needs Leia in his life. This is just one example of that. I also saw you say you collect to collect, yet there you, there you are on every video as a creator, um, video a creator makes that doesn't agree with the echo chamber or it's critical of any mechanic. Uh, some, some things not adding up, Thomas. If you collect to collect, you don't care about YouTubers or their video titles. You're sure, right? He talked about in another response um, how he collects to collect. Well, why are you going so heated over our right videos? Here. Right here. I have Hot Wheels in the storage bin. I've had new in the package for 30 years. I didn't collect them to make gains one day. I did it to collect as a hobby. 
you're here for the money, not me. Talking to a great friend, Fat Cat. Fat Cat's got the stars in his name. Obviously, um, very, very active user in this uh, in this space. So, I mean, it's a contradictory statement after contradictory statement. I'm going to say it right here, okay? We're going to go big here. Typical bully behavior. This is typical bullying behavior on social media. I mean, it's something that you don't like to see. The amount, the way that you go about it with your with your vulgarities and your language, trying to intimidate. Um, look at this one right here, Rob. Perfect. Why don't you Why don't you read the response there? I just wanted to bring it up because I knew it was going to support exactly what you're saying right now about the yeah. bullying behavior. So he said, "Let's get this straight. I criticize your work because it's obviously biased and it has been up until about two weeks ago. I don't know what he means by two weeks ago, but supposedly we're biased only up until two weeks ago. But we we always give our honest opinions when we do videos." Um, and then I asked what, what happened two weeks ago, didn't respond, but this is really where you see the bullying kick in, right? When pressed about the contradiction to make him aware of this contradiction, he responds, fits my narrative. Why? Because I want to buy FA lay on a blockchain again. Why does what I say hurt your feelings so bad? This is an attack and you reposted my post just to start shit. That's why you're, you're a keyboard warrior who wouldn't have the balls to say that to my face now i gotta ask we do not delete our tweets like the previously deleted one that we showed we stand by what we say on twitter we make videos we show our face we are real people okay hello we are real people why should we be scared to say this to your face are you threatening us are you saying that you would become aggressive and physical and violent because we asked you why you called it crap toys and then flipped and now said you have to have Leah in your life. This turned into you now saying to us, if we said that to your face, wh wh why would we be scared? Why should we be scared? You didn't, get, you didn't expand on it, but I can assume that you're trying to be threatening in this post. And this is bullying behavior. This is bullying behavior. And we're just bringing it to the surface. Nothing we said. We didn't swear at you. We weren't vulgar about it. We literally just called out your contradiction and you turned this into being threatening. And this is what you've been doing for a long time. And it's no wonder why you have people in the community calling for you to be locked out. Listen, then you're a person too. We get it. We're not, we don't think anything. We want no bad to come from you at all. This video was not meant to tarnish you down as that person out in the real world, but you on X are out of control. And it, it's hitting a crossing road now where it's gotten so bad that biscuits, gravy, Javier, these care, these people in the community have been called insane things. And now they're asking for you to be blocked by VV official. And I think if VV official is watching, they got to really think about this because this is a unique situation. It, there's it's, it's gotten so much attention now. What's VV going to do about it? Are they going to block? unfollow, do something to appease someone who's actually guilty of making this community an unsafe place or are they going to do nothing? Yeah, I mean, there's, there's a couple things to, to, to unpack here too, right? I mean, we got to think about new users. You want new users in this space. A lot of people on the VV team have their own accounts. Some people don't know they're for, they work for the VV team. Some of the ways that some of this content is, is framed and the, uh, the speed with which the reaction comes is it's sometimes people might think, is this person affiliated the way that they defend that and at, at what's end? Uh, and there's, there's so many things like that, that happen. So, I mean, I don't, I don't know if a block is necessarily the best way, um, but maybe like a nudge, maybe like a, a DM, like, Hey, cut it out kind of thing. Like maybe that's the way, but uh, I, I did see that both community managers of Akomi and of Vivi, uh, came in on this one, right? They both talked about it. Um, and this is not necessarily um, a Foster post, but there's been comments about the way that some of these people have been, I mean, not necessarily a Thomas post, but there's been some ways that these people have been treated by others who have seen these posts and kind of jumped on the bandwagon. Uh, so it's good to see that they're aware of the situation, uh, but having zero resolution or zero like discussion, like say we talked to the individual, hopefully there's different uh, a change of, of attitude and a change of Action. I mean, obviously, free speech, people are going to say what they want. But the way that we're delivering the comments towards other community members with one collectible, with 100, 100 collectibles, with 1,000 collectibles, with no collectibles, they're in the space. You want the space to be safe. 
especially when there's comments surrounding the product. I think uh, there's got to be a little bit more, maybe just a little bit of a nudge to say like, guys, this is a bad look. And I want to bring up one more slide and then you can go to those two posts there, Rob. But sure. because it came from the horse's mouth, I want to I wanna bring it up if I can find it here now. Right here. Oh, I got it. It's from the horse's mouth. You think the IP isn't watching. You think the IP isn't watching your, your, your vulgarities? You think the IP isn't watching the vulgarities in the name of Vivi? In the name of this? And it's on every post. Very active community member. Very active in the way that they treat people who maybe aren't happy in the community. All right? And even, even very big bulls or so-called bulls <laughs> treated like this. All right? So there's this. It's too much now. There's got to be something a little bit more than only on our socials. It doesn't mean you got to police all of Twitter. It doesn't mean you got to police all of every social media. But if it comes to your attention and it's this big of a deal and there's this many instances, I think you got to have some kind of a protocol when it comes to that stuff. This is fresh news. Foster Hill three hours ago, literally three hours ago, this happened. I think Biscuit's calls for this has gone on for so long that they finally – had to respond. So May 31st, four hours ago, we often don't see eye to eye, but I respect your right to share your opinion away free from threats, violence, and harm. We literally just got threatened for violence and harm. Like, you know what I mean? Like this, this is not, I want to be clear here. This is not in re relation to a Thomas post. This is in relation to yes. another post that came of that, which was talking about a Thomas post. Right. But if exactly. You, I don't know but, if you have it. If you scroll up, it's talking about it's, the Thomas. Post. It's all, it's all up here. This was yeah. another one. This is another guy that was part of this. He's the She's, other screenshot. He's the other she screenshot. She was quiet for a while while she was threatened by Thomas. Can we start this again? So this is the type of, of uh, contagiousness of this type of behavior as well, right? Right. It's they get If you get away with it once, you're probably going to continue doing it, right? So, but, but the point is, is that you should be able to share your opinion in a way free from threats of violence of harm, period. If you are ever commenting on any Akomi thread and notice comments like this, please DM me and I'll make sure the issue is addressed. He's talking about Akomi because that's where he has the power. Thanks, Foster. I appreciate that. But maybe you could pass the message on to Mike Lettel to see if he blocked the individual who threatened my family and said some pretty nasty things about my family under the VV official post. Foster Hill said we'll be following up with him about how we engage in addressing anyone who is not creating a safe, welcoming environment for anyone in the community. And she says, I hope the decision is to block the individual. And then Mike Lettel even responded. And he said, I, I think he says a lot here. I'll, I'll just read it. He says, I am very sorry to see that people still treat others this way on X, on their own private socials and by private posts made by members of the community. I too have been attacked personally daily on by individuals lately. And it's not fun or appropriate in any way. This type of behavior on socials is inappropriate. And I hope the community interacts with mutual respect and understanding. In regards to this issue, our team is monitoring the VV social account only, not private posts across X, such as this one by individuals. This is a bit of a cop-out. This would be impossible to track and not the responsibility of our social team. I'm fully confident in everyone's ability to police their own private social uh, feeds and accounts uh, and accounts they interact with taking appropriate action to block, mute, or unfollow using own decision. But th this is the part that my collectibles is missing, in my opinion. If the community, if a number of people in the community are coming to you and there's someone on their private account in the name of Vivi acting and behaving this way, whether you like it or not, the ball's been put in your court. You have to respond. You have to respond. This is wiping your hands of this whole situation. A number of people who are not just interacting with the VV community for a day. They've been here for years. They're screaming at you. What are you going to do about this? If you don't want to block, even though you've blocked tons of people, let's say, and not you necessarily my collectibles, but the VV account has blocked tons of, uh, of people. If you don't want to take that action against this person, what are you going to do about it to respond? At this point, I don't think you can do nothing. It's yeah. been brought to your attention. You can't do nothing. And people should and will bring things to you that are happening in Vivi's official's name. I know that if this was other projects, if the community comes to them that this person's out of control, just because it didn't happen on their social post, it's been brought to the attention of the team at other projects. And therefore now... The ball's in their court to respond. And, and that response can be five different things. And blocking is maybe one of them. But there has to be some response. There can't be none. Think if think if you do block. If you block, are people going to act up about this outside? They might be scared that, that they could get blocked from the official account. Yeah. 
All, um, all, I, all I'm going to be honest with you. I don't expect there to be a block here. I don't expect it, but I do expect some kind of a, of a message or some kind of a direct behind the scenes type of nudge uh, at, at the very least. I think that that should happen um, because otherwise there's no, there's no repercussions for speaking in Vivi's name, speaking uh, with this type of language in the community, just to, to make a point to, to, to dis, disregard anybody who has a concern. Anybody who comes in who has any concern now, is it is it a good feeling to be scared? I mean, people were scared to be blocked for saying certain things, but is it a good feeling to be scared for other reasons, such as having their personal businesses attacked, having uh, vulgarities thrown their way because they don't feel a certain way about certain things that Vivi is doing? Um, I don't know if that's the way you move this space forward. I think an example has to be made. An example has to be made. And I don't think there's many people who go to this extent that are moon boys on Vivi. I know that there's a bunch that are fudders of Vivi that are very disrespectful, use a lot of bad language. And I totally get those blocks. I get it. Um, and I wouldn't, I would get it too if it wasn't on Vivi social. I would get it. Like if I'm on, if I'm on the Vivi social and I'm scrolling around, and I see someone talking about Vivi, even though it's not on my direct post, I'm probably gonna block them if I was working for Vivi. Um but why, why can't we do the same when it's people who are supporting the, the project uh, in their name with with vulgarities? And I mean, is the IP watching? I don't know. I don't know. There's different ways to deal with it. I, yeah, I, I agree with you, Joe. B blocking may not be the option here. I mean, it, but something has to be, there has to be some response from Vivi because again, if, if this is, people should be allowed to share their opinion without threats. I mean, we asked them what is contradiction. He took it very personally. He took it extremely personally, and he called it an attack. He called us calling out his contradiction an attack, but it's his own words. And the response was that we are keyboard warriors who show our face and do YouTube videos uh, who don't have the balls to say it to his face, meaning if we don't have the balls to do that, there must be some very bad consequences if we said it to his face. And I'm assuming violence would be the answer for him. I don't know. Should we now be fearful? to go to a VV event? Mm. Are we, are, should we be scared now that because of X and our discussions with this person, that there'd be violent options now on the table for him? I don't know. Well, what, what's he trying to get at with this? And I think that the intimidation tactics that have been used by this account warrant some response from VV and this video is out there to bring awareness to the team as well as bring awareness to the community that you should not be acting this way. And if you do, Vivi's already started doing blocks. So we don't know where that's going to stop, but it's unacceptable behavior that shouldn't, that shouldn't be happening. And like you said, Joe, the licensors are watching They're, they, they, they see what's happening. So you want to definitely make sure if you're going to clean up the community, you clean it up. Right. Yep. All right, guys, we want to hear your thoughts. What do you guys think about today's video? Do you believe that this person should be blocked? Do you believe that this person should have other consequences? Do you believe that Vivi should do nothing at all? What's your what's your opinion? Let us know in the comments below if you haven't already. Don't forget, become a superstar, smash the subscribe button, do this for the fam. Hit the bell notification to get every single video, every single day. Also, do our VIPs, two and a month, star massage game. As we you guys, thank you so much. Take care. See you next one. Bye bye. Love you. Bye.